Hello everyone, here is our latest project, which is this beautiful stack TV stand that we have got from a charity shop a couple of weeks ago. It was in really good shape, but it did have some scratches as you can see, so it definitely needed some attention. But I was ready to upcycle it and we took it home, so let's see how it turned out. The first thing I've done with this piece is I have cleaned it as much as I could. It's really important to clean all the furniture down before starting sanding it because when you're sanding you can actually sand all the grime and dirt into the wood which you really don't want because then it could affect the results. So when I started sanding it I have started with an 80 grit sandpaper and worked my way up I've done a 120 grit sandpaper and a 180 grit as a final one. I didn't want it to go any higher because later on I wanted to stain the top and I wanted to make sure that the stain is going to be able to get into the wood the best it can. So as you can see it took me quite a while to do this sanding simply because I'm sanding by hand. The garage that I am working in, it doesn't have electricity, so I can't use my orbital sander here because that is not battery operated. But I am actually saving up for a battery operated one, but um, at the moment I just had to do hand sanding, which again took me a while. I think this piece took me about an hour to finish. and. I'm not gonna lie, I was struggling with it a bit <laughs> because it was just a long, long process but it's really nice to see how it's coming along and because of that it's just really worth all the effort to send it down properly. Another thing you want to do is to make sure that you do a proper job because you just don't want to start all over again and fix your mistakes. I have also scuff sanded the whole piece so the primer is gonna stick better onto it and I have covered all the areas I didn't want it to get sprayed on. The next step of the upcycling process was to do the priming and to do that I am using this spray primer in grey colour which is made by Rust-Oleum. As you can see it has a really good coverage but it will still need a second coat. So I am just applying the second coat of primer here and this piece won't need any more coats of priming, it will be ready to be painted after this coat. I really like this primer, it really has worked well um, and it was really easy to use, very fair price as well so I'll definitely use it again. My plan was to restain the drawers and the top and here you can see the difference between the raw wood and the stained wood. To finish the piece I have moved this TV stand upstairs to our second floor flat and I'm currently painting it with a second coat of paint in the middle of our living room. So please excuse the mess but uh, we have a small flat and I'm trying to make the most of it and trying to not let it get in the way of what I would like to do. So as you can see the paint goes on really well and I really love this color actually. Um, one of my client has showed me this color and I just fall in love with it. Also you might see my little penguin onesie which I really like because it's really warm and comfy and it's one of the best things to use for painting. After I have restained the top and the drawers 
it was time to apply the wax to the top and to the drawers. I'm not applying any wax to the paint because it's not necessary. The paint I'm using is from Neptune, which doesn't require you to put any sort of finish on the top of the paint. So anyways, I am just applying this wax onto the top of the TV stand. And as you can see, I'm applying it in a circular motion just to make sure that I get into the wood grain the best I can. And then once I've done it, I'm doing quick swipes through in one direction, simply because in case I forget to buff it up in time, then it's not gonna dry in all circular motion, it's gonna dry in one direction. So I left the wax on for about 10 minutes just to let it sit into the wood grain and after that I have grabbed this buffing up pad and started to buff up the surface. It can give it a really nice shine if you spend some time to buff it up but I'm not really into shiny surfaces so I've just done it so it's gonna give it a little little shine. And here is how it looks after I have buffed up the wax on the surface. I really like the way it turned out. The last thing to do to finish this piece was to clean these handles, for which I have used a barkeeper's friend and a steel wool pad. And I think it turned out great. And here is the finished piece. I really like how the wood complements the color of the paint. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because we are going to be coming back with more and more videos. Until next time, I'll see you later.